It can take anywhere from two to five seconds to get results. That's all it takes when investigators at the Washington County Sheriff's Office are looking into a crime. In seconds, they can put their finger on a possible suspect. Deputies are utilizing this utility in the field uh, weekly. The software developed by Amazon is called Recognition. All that's needed is a picture or video. You can send it to a deputy. They can go back to their patrol car, um, select that photo, compare it against our booking photos, and see if we get any possible matches. The powerful facial recognition software can even use real-time video to get a match, but it's getting pushback. The ACLU sent a letter to Amazon asking the company to stop marketing the technology to law enforcement. It is unlike anything that we've been able to see before, and it is primed to be used for mass surveillance and abused, really, for authoritarian purposes. David Rogers, the executive director of the ACLU of Oregon, says once the technology is widely disseminated, who knows how it could be used? Well, it can be used as a tool to round up immigrants, to target activists, um, and to actually just surveil millions of people going about their daily, ba their, their daily business. We want to make it very clear what we're doing and what we're not doing. We are not doing mass surveillance. We are not doing real-time surveillance. And based on our policies and Oregon state law, we have no intention of doing that in the future. He says he understands why the technology might make people uncomfortable, but he says it's helped deputies catch dozens of suspects. Um, and we're using it in that one-dimensional way. And for 6 to $12 a month, he says the technology is worth it. Deputies know it isn't perfect, though, so they investigate to make sure they've got the right person. Still, the ACLU says the concern is what it could be used for down the line. The software isn't just for law enforcement. It's also been used to find lost children at amusement parks and even to spot celebrities at the royal wedding over the weekend. In Hillsboro, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.